I'm giving Inversi my top recommendation for a game for your K through 12 mathematics classroom. Where's the mathematics? There's lots of mathematics here, but most importantly, as with any pure strategy game, it's one player posing a tough problem for another player to solve. Sometimes we forget that problem solving is at the heart of a quality mathematics education. That's why games in general belong in the mathematics classroom, and in Versi in particular. For the middle grades, Inversi pieces have got the interesting property that they all have the same volume. So this is a perfect way to introduce calculation of volume into your classroom. Students can also be asked to play a game collaboratively so that by the end they've used all the pieces and that all of the board is covered so that not a single piece of the board is left exposed. Is this possible or is it impossible? It just leaves Carol that's impossible. I don't know. Sorry? Trying, if we try so many times there. and it so doesn't work, even does that work? You that's have impossible. to use all What do you think? Is that a, is that a good proof? It's not. Really? How can we prove no. that? How would you go about doing something like that? I usually don't expect students in my middle school classrooms to come up with formal proofs. Rather, what I'm looking for is just a verbal explanation of when something looks fishy and why it looks fishy. Just make it even, you know? Yeah. Okay. So, wait, now, it must be illegal because we're the same height. So now we're going to look at the rules for Inversi. Uh, this overview will be done in my backyard, my favorite place to play games. How does the game play? Start off with one player choosing any block and placing it. Then the other player has to play a block, let's say the green, and you go back and forth playing blocks, and the last player to play a block wins. But there's some rules about how you can play blocks. The rules are as follows. You notice that I have a red block that's standing upright. That means I cannot play, this player cannot play um, their red block standing upright. So this is an unacceptable move, but I could play it lying down. Another rule. Pieces of the same shape or color cannot touch. So for example, um, if I was to play this blue piece here, you can see the two blue pieces touch. That's not acceptable. Lastly, pieces of the same height cannot touch. You're allowed to touch along an edge, but you are not allowed to touch uh, along a face. So for example, this one here wouldn't be correct because the green and the red block are of the same height. The game is extraordinarily fast to play with only five pieces per side. Hard to lose pieces, hard to damage the pieces. This game is perfect for your elementary school classroom.